um, basically we're looking at the wrap up of our storm today, which is mostly done dropping and accumulating snow um, as I come to you at about 10 o'clock on a Monday morning. Um, but uh, also we are we do have one more system in the series of three systems coming up Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday overnight. Um, and then it looks like the weather pattern will calm down a little bit. Wednesday's storm is going to bring, again, plowable snow, basically for everybody, I think, um, but also a change to sleet. I think almost everybody changes to sleet as well, but most of the sleet happens towards the end of the system. So we're going to go through some of the details. I don't have a, a snowfall forecast for you yet. Um, things have been really hectic. Um, <laughs> just got, got back real late last night. If you heard, I brought my son to the Bruins game last night, which was a lot of fun, uh, but a long drive home in the snow last night. But uh, we're, we're back in here and ready to go. Um, but don't want to do a, uh, not quite ready for a uh, total snowfall forecast map tomorrow. I'll have a uh, video out tomorrow morning with that for you. And we'll have one Wednesday morning. And I think finally next Thursday, we're going to get a break in the forecast. I think this is uh, day seven in a row that I'm doing with a couple more to come. Usually I only do this twice a week. Every day, um, it's starting to feel like a, a full-time meteorologist job, which is fun. I like the snow, but a little hectic. So anyways, uh, let's take a look at what's going on here across the country on satellite imagery. Here's our storm today, which is heading out. You can notice we've got some clouds that have um, developed kind of back here, hanging back on the back side of the system with a little bit of lift. That's what's enhancing our snow this morning. Um, although as we look at it on radar, they, we, we are coming towards the end of the, at least the accumulating snow. So flurries will probably kick around throughout a lot of the rest of the afternoon. But the accumulating snow mostly comes to an end by around noon today. Um, and even then we don't have a lot, there's not a lot left to come. Most of what we've got out there is about what we're gonna get. I'm gonna eight, eight and a half inches or so at my house. So um, actually this one, unlike the storm before, did actually kind of play out the way I think the most part I was envisioning, I don't think really any sleep mixed in in southern Vermont, um, or if it did, it was very brief or changed to rain. So um, in that regard, we stayed mostly snow. Some of those areas probably overperformed. Uh, out, uh, out here over the uh, southwest is yet our next system, or at least the energy that for it that's starting to head in our direction. We're also going to get a little bit of an impulse of moisture and energy from the southern jet stream as they come together. And we're going to get one more storm that heads in our direction. We'll look at storm track and why we're not going to be entirely snow out of this one. It's going to take a slightly different snow, uh, storm track. Um, but also why most of our precipitation is going to fall as snow, even though we will see a changeover, which is a little different from some of our storms lately. All right, let's take a look here as we look at uh, what's going on here. This is about 10 o'clock in the morning radar um, across uh, southern Vermont. You can see the back edge is slowly headed in our direction, and we're kind of in and out of a light to moderate snow for the most part. Might have a quick, heavy burst here or there. Um, so we could still get an inch or two of snow, but basically this, the, most of the accumulating snow is kind of wrapping up, and we're just getting snow in the air. As I look outside, now it looks like it's snowing kind of moderate here uh, in South Londonderry. Let's take a look. Oops, sorry. We're on the wrong direction there. Wow. My goodness. Uh, storm track. Here we go for our next system. This is our storm. Um, so by tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, um, that piece of energy across the desert southwest is uh, teaming up with a little bit of that southern jet stream energy, starting to develop a storm over South Texas, which will basically ride up the Mississippi and then Ohio River Valley towards the Great Lakes. This is not a pattern. This is not a track that you would look at for um, for significant snow, except that it is going to do something that storms that take this track sometimes do, which is start to develop a secondary low here off the coast, and that's going to hold snow um, longer in the forecast. It's going to take. It's going to slow the advance of the warm uh, uh, layer at the mid levels of the uh, of the atmosphere. Um, but eventually those will get in here and change us to sleet. Um, by the time that happens, we're probably going to have a pretty good dry slot that fills in with the storm. So the storm will still be close to us on Thursday morning, but precipitation is probably going to cut off pretty early with this on Thursday morning. All the models want to kind of uh, basically want to give that, uh, that the, the precipitation kind of cuts off. And in this redevelopment, we don't get any kind of re-enhancement by this storm that redevelops off the coast. Uh, but this transfer, this, the way that this transfer happens kind of slows the advance of the warm nose aloft. Um, so by the time we change to sleep, actually most of the precipitation will probably have fallen. Most of our precipitation actually falls before, uh, probably before midnight on Wednesday. And that's about the time we're gonna change to sleep, I think for a lot of our areas, 10, 10, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. on Wednesday night into Thursday. Um, so again, the storm will have a decent amount of moisture with it. It's not an overly strong storm, kind of kind of like the last two. Um, and I think uh, snowfall amounts will probably fall between the last two storms. So more probably than we got out of the storm at the uh, last Friday, uh, Thursday and Friday, but more pro or but less probably than we got out of today's storm. So that's kind of a general idea. I'll have a snowfall from that for you tomorrow, like I was saying, um, with more details. Um, let's take a look at that actual forecast. So snow wraps up first half of the day today. Flurries around this afternoon. We're about 30 degrees on average um, today. Uh, temperatures tonight drop somewhat. Um, this is kind of seasonably 
uh, seasonable temperatures in the mid-teens tonight. But more up tomorrow. Tomorrow's a great ski day. Um, one of the few that we've sort of had where uh, certainly the natural snow is helping. They've been able to make a little bit more snow lately. So the skiing is getting better. Still not as many trails as you would think open for late January. But overall, the skiing is getting better. Temperatures in the low 30s. Uh, then we cloud up in advance of the next storm already by Tuesday overnight as we head into Wednesday. By Wednesday afternoon, snow starts around noon or a little bit after on Wednesday. We're all snows Wednesday afternoon through the evening. Sleet, even in uh, kind of the, uh, the valley location, the first place will basically be a south to north transition on the sleet, southwest to northeast trans trans uh, tra uh, um, transition from snow to sleet. Um, it doesn't start in uh, even down in like Bennington until probably well after dark pushing towards 10 o'clock, I would think, by then. Um, like I said, uh, most of the heavier precipitation will have actually fallen by that time. So uh, travel could be pretty tricky Wednesday evening. Definitely uh, early releases are possible if the timing speeds up a little bit, although I think we probably won't see too many of those. Uh, the, the, the snow doesn't really kind of get going in earnest until about the end of school on Wednesday. Thursday morning, delayed openings are possible, but definitely should be able to be cleaning up by that point. Temperatures will be rising a little bit. Probably get even above freezing a little bit on Thursday. As you can see, temperatures are around 35 degrees. So um, certainly, I don't think cancellations on Thursday are likely at all, but a few delays are definitely still possible as cleanup is underway on Thursday. And then into Friday, we cool back off to a pretty seasonable day with temperatures in the mid-20s after starting off in the upper teens. A nice ski day again on Friday setting us up for a decent uh, ski weekend it looks like um, and no big storms after this on the horizon there is definitely some interesting weather on the horizon potentially after this but no uh, nothing that looks overly threatening for at least a few days after Wednesday storm I'm sure you're getting a little bit of fatigue if you're like me as well as much as I like the snow this has been a lot of it in a relatively quick time or at least a lot of uh, bursts of it here uh, Storm uh, details for the Wednesday storm. Precipitation starts early in the afternoon. Moderate to heavy snow likely late in the afternoon through evening. Snow mixes with and changes to sleep from south to north between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. Plowable snow looks likely for all of us before the changeover. Like I said, probably at uh, an amount in between the last two storms. And the bulk of the moisture falls as snow before the changeover. That's true even in the places that change first, I think. Uh, and I think even places that change over earliest, uh, Bennington, Brattleboro, southern areas, they do see plowable snow before the changeover happens. I think at this point we'll have details, more details for you tomorrow. Accumulating work week highlights, accumulating snow this after, uh, wraps up today by midday. Significant winter storm, which will bring plowable snow and sleep Wednesday into Wednesday overnight. Good skiing Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thursday is a little iffy with, um, you definitely ski on Thursday, but it will be with a little bit with some sleep pellets in the air, especially early in the day. Not as good on Thursday, although certainly a ski day, a possible ski day. And today's a nice ski day if you get out there as well, I should say. Really a pretty good ski week. Early releases are possible Wednesday. Um, I think more likely some some delayed openings are possible Thursday morning. Although the kids, even with the storm coming, with the timing of it, may end up that kids don't actually miss any school for this one. Um, a lot of them have missed at least a day, some two, some a day and a half over the last couple of days. Still no Arctic air in the short to medium range forecast. We're kind of closer to average temperatures, but no Arctic outbreaks. Arctic air is starting to build or at least uh, across the pole, the, the, the North Pole from Siberia towards Canada. So Arctic breaks are possible in more of the long range forecast, um, although not a guarantee, but uh, nothing in the next week to week and a half, it looks like in terms of an Arctic outbreak. Um, we should see a break in the action, storm action after the storm Wednesday into Wednesday night. All right. Lots of forecasts lately. Lots to talk about. Um, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow morning. I'll definitely have a snowfall map forecast or snowfall map for you and i'll have timing and when i think uh, some some graphics on when i think transitions are going to happen from snow to sleep those kinds of things uh, but the big thing is just to make sure that uh if you have to be going out on wednesday evening just you're gonna have to take it easy as you go all right uh if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel before i would encourage you to do so helps make sure you don't miss any of my videos gotten quite a few new subscribers recently and uh, with all the storms i appreciate that it also helps uh, other people find my uh, find my stuff share my uh, if you if you don't mind share my stuff on when I uh, my links on Facebook and things like that it helps new people discover uh, what's going on and I know um, you know people want to get a chance to see what uh, somebody from southern Vermont who actually is forecasting for southern Vermont and not that I'm always 100% accurate we learned that in the last one but I uh, do have I do have a focus at least on our area so I appreciate those uh, the, those things where people help uh, other people discover me and I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons because they help support what I do here at the West River, River, River Weather Guide and um, they kind of help with uh, improving 
quality of these forecasts in terms of the technical quality of them and with things, uh, subscriptions and things like that that uh, I need so that I can get the model access to the models in the ways that I need to and radar and things like that. Um, some higher quality sites are subscription based, so I appreciate that help uh, and it helps make sure that, uh, that these forecasts keep happening and you really do appreciate that. So um, with that said, I'll be back tomorrow morning with another with a look at the